Greetings, everyone. This is the new 26 Rainbow Powered. I am Nirvana Spark. Spike has gone through a long road and a long history of change, lessons, and to learning his boundaries. He's learned a lot throughout the course of these 134 episodes, and Gauntlet of Fire earlier this season was his best example of how much he's grown as a character. But the growth isn't over yet, considering we have this episode. Times are a changeling. Yes, it's been a while since we've mentioned the changeling race. Kind of, sort of, in Slice of Life, and kind of at the end of our first episodes this season. But, it's been even longer since we've actually had a changeling play a role in an episode. <laughs> Three seasons, in fact. It's been that long. Why do I bring it up? It's the crux of the episode, of course. Twilight, Starlight, go to the Crystal Empire with Spike to have a visit with Flare Yard, but everybody in the Crystal Yard's tripping. Why? Because a changeling has been spotted nearby, and everybody's looking for identification. Luckily, we get the return of maybe one of the cutest things ever in the Sunshine Run. Trust me, it's something I've been wanting to see for about a few seasons, and I'm glad I got that little nugget. But, as Spike is playing up his celebrity, he, he runs into the changeling of note known as Thorax. He's kind of the Casper the Friendly Ghost. He's a changeling, but he doesn't want to hurt nobody. And Spike decides to do the one thing, thing that nobody will seem to do, and that's actually befriend him. Using an alternate pony identity, Crystal Hooves, he manages to become quite popular, but when the truth comes out, the hatred comes out too. Which is funny, because a lot of it has to do with celebrity and learning the truth about it, and being okay with that truth. You see... A lot of people on the internet hide behind personas or characters. And usually when you find out that the person is not as kind-hearted or as interesting as the character he plays, sometimes there can be a disconnect. Especially when you find out that it's something that you're not exactly a fan of when there's already predestined hatred. That's what this episode is talking about, more or less. Predestined hatred. That just because one is different doesn't mean he fits in with the herd. That there can be different kinds of a race or a perspective that not everybody should be grouped in together just because of preconceived notions. Something we tend to do a lot in modern society. We tend to group things together. We tend to say that it's one thing when it's really not. That people can be different. When they're, that just because there is a culture of hate, it doesn't mean that everyone in that culture, whether it be things like pro-life or pro-choice or heck, even Gamergate, 
Not everyone is a super extremist, or not everyone falls in with their ways. There's some that lightly agree, but don't. And then there are some that just don't agree at all. Thorax is one of those characters. He believes that there is an alternative, that there is something different, that changelings do not have to be a source of fear or hatred, that they can be as understood as anyone else. You just have to be brave enough, put it all on the line, and trust, as Spike did, to believe that there is something different. That people thought to be one way can be something completely different. If you're willing to be open-minded and believe that that something different is possible. The moral m might be simply delivered, but it is a powerful one. It's one that, especially in all in all the trouble with the with the gay and lesbian community, and yes, even some of the race-induced riots that have happened recently, it's a lesson that young ones. And yes, even us need to learn that yes, different is different, but society is society. If we can learn to build the olive branches that make up a better society and willing to be more open-minded to the differences in our races, Maybe it won't matter as much. And maybe we can all learn to love each other. For Spike, he was willing to give up the celebrity that he had earned through three seasons of work to be that arbiter of change. And that is strong and powerful for a character such as this that a few seasons ago, wasn't even brave enough to stand in front of a crowd. And yet he was brave enough to risk their respect, to teach some respect. Although the way he got there could have, could have been better. And it does fall back into some of the things that Spike used to do, but... It's all in the effort to help someone who, because of cultural stigma, couldn't help himself. So, it's all within understanding. Spike has turned, thanks to Gauntlet of Fire and thanks to this episode, into somewhat of a cultural liaison. An olive branch between cultures that wouldn't even normally communicate with other ponies. Spike is becoming the great communicator. Able to bring races that wouldn't normally talk to each other in the focus. Maybe this is Spike's great role. Great purpose, great meaning in life. To be the one that starts even the ones that you don't think could be on the road of friendship down the road. The song Change Link and Change is Spike's first solo song and it is a powerful example and a, once again, much like Flutter Brother, a very useful and very memorable way to translate the moral. Everybody's in perfect spot here, especially that of Spike. Spike, for all the episodes that you have given us trouble, for all the episodes that 
caused the fandom to grow. The last two that you've had have been fantastic. Your reputation for causing bad episodes, at least in this reviewer's opinion, has irrevertibly changed. Much like the thought on Changelings. It might have been a little rocky at the start, but you finished. You proved how brave you are. And the writers proved how brave they are. And it should be rewarded. Let me be the first to do it. With a 6 out of 6. Although you can debate this should be lower. The power of the impact of the moral, especially given real life situations, cannot be understated. For Spike, this might be the beginnings of the transition to an overall role for the character, meaning Thorax is an understandable and likable character, saying that we've all been there, hated for what we truly are, and trying to be something different, just to feel the glow of being part of society. We've all been there. The song, A Powerful Message. And, of course, as always, the Crystal Empire and its inhabitants stands the guards, because they're stupid. A wonderful return to form. This is two episodes in a row that have been superbly excellent. I can only hope Dungeons and Discords will continue to do the same next week. But if you don't understand a different culture, whether it be through the way that they live, through disability or yes, even through gender choice or color, don't lump them all in as one thing. Get to know them. You might find a friend. And those differences fade away to the commonality that we are all the same. If we're all willing to open our eyes and see it. With that. Find peace in your own nirvana, and I'll see you next week.